So congrats to the Dolphins. Tua finally showed up. It was finally Tua time. Last week we didn't get to see Tua time, but this week he really showed up. I mean, this dude was running around, evading the rush, picking up clutch first downs when he needed to with his legs, throwing the ball on all different kind of platforms. He looked like the Tua of Alabama, which I didn't know if I would ever see. First off, he had like five, six wide receivers deep. He, he had a lot of talent around him. Now, the Dolphins have their fair share, but they do not have, you know, if you make it equal and translate that college team to the NFL, they're the best, they're the best NFL team. So he doesn't really have that around him, but he's making plays. He's, you know, making plays above the numbers. And that was really exciting to see him and Kyler go back and forth. Kyler went over 100 yards, four total touchdowns. The difference was Zane Gonzalez missing that field goal. But uh, really, really entertaining game to watch Tua rise up like this. And like I said, Kyler had a great game too. But it, it just all comes out to the missed kick. They make that kick. We're probably still watching them right now. It's probably still in overtime unless Tua gets it back and gets them in field goal range, which... Would have been exciting to see, but what a game, man. What a game. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins didn't really have that huge of a game. Same thing with Devontae Parker. They both were pretty much held in check, but uh, Kyler did it, you know, whenever he, he couldn't get the ball to his guys, he got it to Christian Kirk a couple of times. He got over 120 yards, um, but whenever they, they couldn't get open, he was taken off, and he was, you know, the way this dude cuts the corner is crazy. Like people have angles on him and he always gets to the sideline. He always cuts the corner. Uh, he got stopped short and that was the difference in that game on that one play. But other than that, he really can cut the corner and you know give defenses nightmares. I don't know how you contain that. There's really nothing you can do. Uh, with Tua, I knew that he was athletic and we saw it in college. But I did not know how that would translate to the NFL. But he really moves around and he really can invade people like he did in college. So great game from Tua. This makes it so much more exciting. We got Joe Burrow doing things. We got Justin Herbert doing his thing. And ah, what a loss. The Chargers are such a mess. They, they've, they've, got, they've got a curse going on. But uh, those two guys are putting together exciting rookie campaigns. And then you add in Tua. It might be a little bit too late for him to win Rookie of the Year, but all three of these quarterbacks look like they're really something. They all look special. They all look like they'll be winners. And I got to be honest, if Daniel Jones turns out not to improve over the second half of the season, then it's going to be really sad <laughs> to watch these three quarterbacks that I think all but Joe Burrow uh, we had a chance to take. So, um, like I said, exciting game. Both teams should be excited, you know, from how good they look today. Uh, and that only difference was the field goal kicker. Of course, maybe you probably want to, you know, step it up on the defensive side. Uh, the Cardinals, you would expect them to be used to quarterbacks moving around like that because they practice against Kyler Murray, but I guess they don't tackle him. But uh, they had issues keeping up with Tua. But um, like I said, good game. To me, probably top three or four games I've seen this year. Uh, but props to both teams. Really fun game to watch.